where my thumbnail is and where my fingernail is should be together. Should be, t this this should be up here, but it's stretched away. So this is what uh, laminitis looks like, a stretched laminitis. Dennis here at Capital Training and Chewing, and uh, we got an unusual situation here today. This donkey came in and has just been running out on pasture, and uh, you know the owner saw it and then realized how bad the feet had gotten. <laughs> so we're we're here to trim this donkey or, or do our best job of doing that. And the first thing you've got to do with a donkey or a mule, especially, is uh, you know, treat them in a way that they, they're they not starting out on the fight. <laughs> if you come in abrupt, moving too much, and, and try to just reach down there and pick that foot up, it's, she'll, she'll show you, he'll show you what the, the, it ain't gonna happen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a little time here first, <clears throat> first before I, <clears throat> excuse me, before I do anything, just establishing a little bit of uh, understanding here with this with this donkey and and uh, touching him in a way that he knows I'm not not here to hurt him. I've got a rope in my hand and I'm going to use this rope to help me to to uh, just get this animal comfortable with me touching down the leg. And uh, I'll put that rope on the inside and just just let it move like this. Now I'll get it down there around the around the pasture, and and I'll pull until that see him unload. As soon as that, as soon as that animal unloaded, watch again. See him unload. As soon as he unloads, quit standing on that foot. Then he feels slack in the rope. So he he probably let me pick that up here just in a minute. I'll wait for him to. Unload, he's locked in his knee. He's got all his weight on it right now. I'm waiting for him to soften. And then, quick as I can, I get a hold of that toe. Now, I'm just gonna, gonna wait here, if I can, until he finds softness. Now, turn it loose. See, I don't wanna just, take it from him and make him think that, that I'm gonna keep it all the time. He needs to know that I'm gonna turn it loose. So as he as he gets more confidence in me, as quick as I can, I'll get a hold of that toe because the toe is a is a leverage advantage for me, <laughs> so I can I can stay there with him, and then I'm I'm just letting that letting that foot go underneath his leg, towards the other leg. Now I'm gonna let him down. And we go. Uh, Turn that fan on, let a little breeze blow in here. <laughs> it's pretty humid here today. So I'm gonna put this rope around his back leg here now. You might notice too that, that I've got her tied pretty short. I wouldn't do this with a horse, but mules and donkeys, they'll just lay in and they won't, they won't pull back and get suicidal like a horse and, and a, does. So, so being tied short is a, is a help to me in this donkey, otherwise it would just be moving around and, and doing what you needed to do to, to get me to, to quit. Well, not gaining anything from pulling on that rope, but she is gaining quite a bit from, he's gaining quite a bit from letting me have this foot. And as quick as I can, I'm gonna get back here where it's comfortable. 
that's good enough. Then let him have his, let him have his foot back. So the purpose purpose behind this is to prepare him mentally <laughs> so I can so I can have a chance to trim those feet physically. That one won't work. <laughs> This front one to come up. Already the donkey is is uh, becoming easier to let me have those feet. Now the back feet aren't near as as out of shape as the front one, so I'm going to trim the back ones first. I'm waiting for him to quit pulling on me here. Then I'll let him have it back. Okay. Thank you, Brian. foot pretty nicely I need to get that toe he's got a little bit of little bit of brace in that foot I'm waiting for that brace to leave and then I'm gonna guide his foot back to that stand let him rest it right there and then I'll, I'll clean this out now all of that extra length is just what we refer to as dead horn. There's no feeling in it. So I'm gonna just be pretty aggressive about getting things out of here. And uh, otherwise you'd be here for for days trying to just trim that frog up a little bit. I stay in there too long, he'll, he'll get frustrated. I want to quit, so. No feeling in any of this. So I'm just going at it like a pretty aggressively. Then I'll redo. I want to move over that way a little bit so I'll oblige him. I don't want to start an arguing match with him. See if we can find live soul. Live soul tells me how short I can go. Live soul is waxy looking. Soul that's not live is crumbly or soft. to find a foot in the, underneath all this stuff.
and that little bit of discoloration right there is what happens in the stretching of the lamina where my thumbnail is and where my fingernail is should be together should be this this should be up here but it's stretched away so this is what uh, laminitis looks like a stretched lamini so this this little bit of discoloration right there in the lamini is not fresh it's because of this distortion that had taken place so we've got that foot down to live soul and we've we've got him balanced uh, in a way that he should be comfortable for for some time here now